Tuesday, September 12th, 110 Mountain Time, 2017. You're looking at Hurricane Jose over here in the far right-hand corner of this instrument's uh, field of view. This is the GO-16 infrared, and this is what's left of Hurricane Irma. I want to show you right now how these models pertaining to uh, Hurricane Jose are varying from one to another, just like they did with Irma. And I've actually got proof of one of the models that shows Irma going into a completely different place and how these things can and will change. This is Jose, its current position with respect to Florida, basically parallel of the East Coast, about 700 miles. Here we go. This is a model, Hurricane Jose, this is a Canadian model, okay, and it's showing a completely different model than the GFS. So let me show you this model first. I'm going to step it forward to starting from, let me back it up and show you where it's at. This is just out here in the middle of the Atlantic off of the east coast of the United States. There's the 17th. That's about category one status. Coming right up to the edge of Massachusetts, right? Stops and backs up. Now I'm at the 19th. Still backing up. Now it moves forward again, 985, that's around Category 1 status. And then, impacting right into New Jersey and New York. Okay, that is a, a Canadian model. Here's the GFS model. We're going to start it at the 15th and step it forward a day at a time. Here's the 16th, this is Jose. 17th, it's Category 1 storm. 18th, 19th. 20th. Missing the USA, right? Now we're going to switch over to the GEM model. 20th, same date, has it right in New York. Now we'll go over to the GFS. Well clear of New York. Let's go to the 18th. 18th, GFS, Canadian model. Coastal Massachusetts, step it forward the 19th. It backs up. 20th, goes into New York. Hey, let me show you another example of how these things can change. I saved this one just for educational purposes. This is Irma, all right, at Tropical Tidbits. And this is its projected path as of September 6th. I'm going to step it forward a day at a time. That's Jose. This goes back six days ago. And this is the path that they had predicted then, based off of the highs and lows at that time. This was their best guess model based off of the highs and lows at the time but the highs and lows change one video I did referring to a possible impact between North and South Carolina this is why because at the time that's what this model was showing and there's Jose and as you can see the model is that's 33 it impacted over here at 26 so that's a seven degree uh, difference to the to the west that's how far it changed the spaghetti models, the majority are going up past New York and out into the North Atlantic. You've got two models here going right in to the West Palm area, north of Miami. So that's how far uh, different or how far apart these models can be. So again, it reminds me of Irma, especially with uh, the one that I just showed you. These models are going to change, guys. And they're all based on these atmospheric high pressures and low pressures. That's what steer these things. And I'd used this to track Irma, and it changed too. And it shows you what the highs and lows are. And th these are what steer these uh, storms. This is Jose right here. Right now, it has it going up the eastern coast of the United States and missing the coast. Coming close... But that's the 19th, and that's as far as this one will go right now. And it goes back. But you can see it's got it missing right now based off of the configuration of the high pressures and low pressures. So right now, it's still up in the air. Um, it could come into the East Coast. It could go out into the North Atlantic. We won't know until more time passes and we get closer and closer to the 15th and 16th. And then we'll kind of have a better idea of what the high pressure and low pressure system arrangements are, then uh, you'll get closer and closer to a accurate landfall if there is one. 
but right now it's it's a mixed bag this one the Canadian model has a double impact and the GFS model has it missing the uh, coast entirely so we'll just have to wait and see but that's the update right now for Hurricane Jose September 12th 2017 one o'clock mountain time thanks for watching and be safe out there